Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone out there in the internets. Battle rap culture is alive and well. Once again, we're broadcasting from the wonderful 10,000 Studios here in the South Side. South Side did it once again. Swear 360, the Medicine Man, the Monument, talking today about Bring Your Bars Battle League Tension event. In specific, Henny Lowe versus B. Wills. We're talking Henny Lowe versus B. Wills. Henny Lowe, of course, representing the Southpaw Battle Coalition. B. Wills representing Philly, as far as I can tell. Okay, this was a really good battle. If you haven't seen this, I'll put the link in the comments. Please do yourself a favor. Check this battle out. Both of these performers came with it. Other than a little slip slide from uh, B. Wills, it was pretty much a glitch-free battle. Two different styles, a lot of bars. Let's get into it. First round, Henny Low went first. By the way, the tension event was hosted by Norbs, although I've seen no footage of Norbs. So put in the comments, if you saw him there, if you were there, you saw him there, let me know. I have seen no evidence of Norbs at all at this event. Bring Your Bars Battle League, tension event, getting into it. Henny Lowe versus B. Wills. Henny Lowe goes first, <clears throat> kicks it off at a minute five, uh, raps for two minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, a good round, right, right angle, hypotenuse, clip sticking out to old school games like the SP, Mind Your Business. Uh, break the subject in half like a semicolon. Uh, around y'all, I'm cozy. Henny Lowe won me over with performance. Um, some of the bars escaped me or else they weren't there, uh, which could have been a little bit of both. Who knows? Maybe they just all escaped me. You can help me out in the comments, but, uh, I think this was just the beginning of the heat up in the first round for Henny Lowe, and I liked um, some of his setups as much as some of his punchlines. Uh, a lot of intricate rapping. Like I said, if you don't catch it on the first or second time, it's understandable. It's complex, chunk-filled of content. Um, gives us two minutes and 40 seconds of great rapping, great performance, aggressive, a lot of energy. Uh, you can tell he was well rehearsed, not just thorough with his performance and his execution of his material. Uh, so first round then goes to B. Wills, kicks it off at 354 to 631. That's about 237. So already we have two component, two opponents that obviously are shooting towards the same goal as far as time, which in a three-minute round is very crucial. So I like how it's going down. Now let me say the crowd. It's quiet. Uh, they heat up a little bit for B. Wills at certain points. But from the beginning to the end throughout, the crowd is at best quiet and is sometimes having their own discussions. We'll talk about that more later. Uh, B. Wills gets into it. Uh, he left over, tired of eating the shame shit. Uh, I don't do well with dark liquor. Whoa, I didn't understand that. Uh, we're men amongst men. I drink the dark liquor. I understand everybody doesn't like it. Some people have to drink the uh, vodka and the, and the other varieties of liquor. Some people don't drink it all. But I don't know if I question. I don't know. I might question your gangster if you can't handle the dark liquor. Uh, proof reading was a good line. Let's get dirty. Red man talking. Nina, all I needed to get by. Good woman, all I need to get by. Dog got a lot of bark. Rock Wilder. If you notice, there was a running scheme through here. Red Man, Method Man, their producer, Rock Wilder. Uh, after the first playoff round, you're going to see the semis. I like that. I like that. I liked his material. He had great bars. And I think in this round, better bars, uh, better material than Henny Lowe. The only issue is he didn't perform it as well. I'm not quite sure if that's his natural performance which is a little jittery. Um, it just didn't come off as solid as, as Henny Lowe's performance and execution of bars. Um, when someone really knows their material, it comes across in the performance. And while B. Wills' material may have been uh, uh, better, 
his performance was not quite as good. So we're really, we're starting off with we got a battle. We got a battle on our hands. Let's go to round two. Henny Low, six forty to nine ten. That's about two thirty, two and a half minutes on the dot. Um, Cut Earth in half. All I sense is a hemisphere. Let this dog examine the outer space. Jimmy Neutron. Uh, Fubu, where the streets at. Lot, just chunkful, you know. Better be Daft Punk from the neck up. A firearm in my palm, 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 Pompeii. Okay, just a lot of wordplay, a lot of a lot of material. Chock full of content. You got to struggle to keep up with Henny Low. He's one of them guys. It's thick. It's intricate. It's a lot there. It's a lot to chew on. It's a mouthful. Uh, hit your whole squad like conference calling. Okay. Uh, rap for two and a half minutes. Henny Lowe's heating up. Not in performance. Performance was thorough the whole way through. Performance was impeccable the whole way through. But the material, I feel like. I feel like his first round was his weakest round on material. I feel like his material is heating up in this round. And it's beginning to match his performance. Um, so here we go. Second round for B. Wills. Now at this point, where's the crowd? Did they come to see a battle rap? Did they know it was a battle rap event? Did they think it was going to be a dance party or a polka of some sort? Because they, at certain points, they're having their own conversations. They're mingling. Uh, no one is recognizing the bars. And if you're a battle rap fan, you, you, you come and you watch and you want to hear battle rap bars from either side. You know, you want to see a good battle, debatable, a classic. That's the goal. And if you paid money, which I'm sure they did, to go in to see battles, I'm not quite sure why they were so um, oblivious to what was going on. But anyway, B. Will's second round, 917 to 11.52. I didn't quite do the math out there. But uh, so watch my mind work slowly as we go. Yeah, so he's right, right under two and a half minutes. Two, two, um, <clears throat> right at two and a half minutes. So we again, they're right on schedule with each other. They obviously are shooting towards the same time goal. Uh, and B. Wills kicks it off. Uh, speaking of one of Henny Lowe's former battles, they failed the bar examination. And uh, you, uh, I got bars, you lost to bars, so it's deja vu. Uh, his bodies were a little immature. Then we had a minor choke. It wasn't a hard choke. It wasn't painful. It was just a minor misstep. But it lasted for, you know, a few seconds. It wasn't, it wasn't that minor. It wasn't a stumble. It wasn't a mini choke. It was, it, was, it was, he lost it for a minute. But he got it back. And when he got it back... Um, the cognac still fucking henny up, referring to earlier battles. Anything coming out of radio better be the clean version. That was a big line. And that could have been a much bigger moment. But again, the performance was jittery and excited and uh, not stable. Um, maybe, I mean, a kind of a crazy aggressiveness uh, with, you know, just not, not quite as believable. Um, but that was a big line. It could have been a much bigger moment uh, if he had performed it a little differently. But most importantly, if the crowd would have been paying attention at all, you know, like, uh, and I feel for both these rappers because it's hard to be on stage and not feed off the crowd. And when they're, you know, oblivious, doing their own thing, whatever, having conversations, it's hard to, you know, it, it could have been a much bigger moment. Trust, right? Anything coming out of radio better be the clean version that's just a great bar timely uh should have hit bigger than it did uh it's some mob deep bars uh he's do a byb event he put henny man on front of a big cannon uh jeopardy or price is right name your game show headshot i have uh you know looking like coolio great bars again great bars uh a minor stumble I might say still better bars than Henny Low, but the performance suffered, so the bars didn't hit as hard. Um, you had a minor choke, and you had a crowd that was would, would almost be better if they were non-existent at this point. Uh, anyway, Henny, Henny Low third round, 12 minutes to 14.33, 37, something like that. So still, we're hitting right around two and a half minutes. Great timing on both battlers' part. 
uh, in Richmond he's the people's choice uh, little people's voice in the end you got a Jones uh, I'm just paraphrasing you watch the battle it's too intricate for me to go over bar for bar don't let them go over your head though don't let them slip by you black van let hell sing uh, biscuit bacon like Paula Dean uh, like you like Kiss Metal, like Kiss Metallica, I mean, Clips, We the Re-Up Gang, Leon from The Professional, Back-to-Back, uh, -back, No Intermission, Tone He Touch, Meet with the Peacemaker, shout to Tony Touch, just bars, wordplay bars, on and on and on. And once again, the crowd is quiet or speaking amongst themselves. I guess waiting to see somebody else. I don't know what was going on. I wasn't in the room. I would just say in the future, if you pay to go to an event and you're there to see battle rap, try to get involved. The crowd is an intricate part of the situation, and that exchange of energy is great for the performers, the performance, the event, and everyone involved. Round three, B. Wills, 1435 to 1708, clocking in at 233. Right, he's doing away with the law, and the Southpaw is just a sorority house. I got a clip full of good ideas. I want to want to run a couple by you. That's a great line. He had some good lines. Uh, not quite as, you know, and maybe not quite as intricate as Henny Low. So the you know dyslexic, recreational such as myself can understand a little more easily. Henny Low's uh, lyrics are condensed and compact, intricate. So it takes a bit of unweaving to work it all out. Shout out to Big Jenya out there who catches everything. But uh, 1240, How to Catch a Predator. Put low riders on Lowe's rider. Uh, you got getting vetoed. Uh, shout to OG Moon. He said he got a gat and spit like it's old, but... You know, blah, 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 great bars and a good round, a great battle from the tension event. Bring your bars, battle league. Everything was good here except for the crowd. If I have to call a winner, it would be Henny Lowe with the second and the third. Uh, his bars uh, heated up continually. I think his third was his best round. His performance was thorough throughout. I think B. Will's performance held him back. His bars were great, and it's sometimes better than Henny Lowe's. But he just uh, from the choke to uh, a jittery, uh, crazy nervousness. Not, not you know, maybe that again. Maybe that's his his style, but it just didn't come off to me in full effect in the same way that Henny Lowe's did. So that's who I got. I got Henny Lowe. Um, second and the third in a very close and great battle. Shout out to both performers. I'm looking forward to seeing both of these performers again. It's a win for the performers. It's a question for the, uh, for the event and the promoters. We got to figure out what's going on with these crowds. And I don't know if y'all need a host or someone to give direction to these people because that's a part of the show. And, uh, they, they, they really held this battle back from being more, of a classic or a, a, a better uh, watchable experience. So in the future, if you're at a battle rap event, um, the least you can do is shut the fuck up. And if you paid to get in there, you know, let's get up front and participate and listen to these bars and digest and enjoy. Peace. Once again, Swerve 36. Shout out to both performers. Great performance. Uh, one love. One love from 10,000 Studios. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.